All right, y'all, so a few things changed after I filmed this. Um, I'm taking a chance on these. These actually look really good. The carbon fiber still there. They're not bending. It's just a really good shoe for me to take a risk on. So I'm definitely trying to take a risk on that. The jump man looks decent. Nothing all for on it. The 23 looks crazy. I'm gonna run this through an app to see what happens. And then these right here as well. Um, they are priced a little bit higher, but it's okay. So I'm getting both of these to add it to this stack and then the jean jacket. I know y'all probably wondering, you know what I'm saying, what's going on, why am I making a separate video about this particular shoe? Um, and uh, basically I'm, I'm on here to show that I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Uh, none of us are. I took a chance on an item and uh, I'm gonna I'm break some things down and tell you what I did right and what I did wrong, all right? Um, Y'all saw the footage of me buying two pairs of shoes. Uh, and this video has been a couple of weeks since at that purchase, right? Um, what happened was uh, I took a chance on two pairs of shoes um, and this was one of the pairs right here, right? Um, there's no like, let me just, let me just break this down to you. So me looking at this shoe, right? I feel like the weight is right. I felt like some of the stitching was right. I felt like even the jump man was right. Uh, the back, like all of that's clean. Like this shoe has been worn. And you know what I'm saying? It looks like certain things. I don't, I can't really describe it. Like it just felt right. Uh, but after a little bit of further uh, investigation I did two separate um, and I, I went through two separate apps none of these apps are sponsored so please don't you know what I'm saying take my word for any of this but I went through two separate apps I thought they looked good um, after further review both apps they both came back where these shoes were no good right in my area um, the stores that I shop at, right? Um, they don't allow you to get refunds on clothing and shoes. Um, I did pay a little bit up for these. I paid $25 for these. Um, but that's my fault. I took a risk thinking that this shoe could be real. And if it was real, I could have had a nice little profit, right? Um, fortunately, the other shoe that that's in the um that's in the video that shoe is real um so this is me just talking about sometimes i i take risk and they don't always play out like they should right me taking a risk on this shoe um thinking that it was real uh it just made like i'm just looking at the shoe right the shoe's been worn uh like the way it wore, like even this part right here, that doesn't seem like it's been fake. Like the leather up here is good. When you wear the 11s, sometimes they buckle a little bit and that's what this did. The jump man looks fine to me. Um, I stretched it out. Yeah, there's no extra, no extraness on this shoe at all. Uh, but uh, what do I know? Um, I'm not perfect, like I said. Uh, I did take a risk on this shoe, um, but this is a risk that I was willing to take just because I didn't know if it was real or not. I'm just being honest. Uh, when you buy shoes at some of these stores, uh, they don't always come out to be <laughs> what they expect or what you expect, right? You expect to have a new shoe or anything like that. But this just proves to me 
that the area I live in, there are people wearing fake shoes. Let me just be 100% real here. Um, there's nothing wrong with wearing fakes if you can't afford to wear the real thing or if you don't believe in wearing a $200 pair of shoes. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Me personally, I prefer to wear like real authentic shoes from Nike or from the sneakers app or Foot Lock or wherever. You know what I'm saying? I can get the shoes from that. I, that is a reliable source, right? Um, but this was for business. This wasn't for pleasure or anything like that. Uh, when I first saw them, I was like, oh, these are my size. Maybe if they are legit, I'll take a chance of keeping them, right? Because I never owned a pair of Bread 11s, uh, but it's a no-go, no-go at all. Um, I will say this, I've took a lot of chances in the past and they played out. This particular time, the shoe didn't play out as promised. That doesn't mean that I can't get rid of the shoe for what I paid for it. I could throw it up on a Facebook market uh, and let people know this is a <laughs> not a real shoe and people will still buy it probably for what I paid for it and I can get my money back um, as long as I'm honest with people about the product through Facebook marketplace in person that's another another story um, if I'm doing an in-person show and I'm telling you like I don't know if this is real that could hurt me for making a sale right but it could also uh, build up my credibility to, for people to trust me to, you know what I'm saying, come to, because I'm not always right. I'm not 100% right at all. Uh, but that's what I'm probably gonna do, is throw these up on Facebook Marketplace, let people know that they're not real, and see if I can, you know what I'm saying, at least get my money back. So this is me showing y'all and telling y'all that sometimes you make mistakes in reselling, and um, just do your due diligence, due diligence, I don't, do your research, just do your research, right? And um, like the apps that I used, it came back within like 10 or 15 minutes. So what I could have did was actually use uh, the app while I was like in the store to see if it would have came back real. And if it would have came back real, that uh, would have been a purchase. So that's the lesson here. Uh, I'm gonna start using the app while I'm in the store. And um, basically like take the chance that way. And if the app says it's good, I'm gonna do it. Um, but this was like an impulse buy right when I was in line, they pulled out a bunch of shoes and this was one of the shoes and I just grabbed it thinking they were real. So yeah. Not always right. This is one of the biggest mistakes. I ain't gonna say the biggest. One of the mistakes I made in reselling and hopefully uh, it helps you download one of these apps that you can legit check uh, your shoes or a product and use it while you're in the store. They don't go off of like background. They just go off the images of the shoe. So if you take good pictures of the shoe while you're in the store, um, it can come back within 10, 15 minutes. You have it in your basket while you're shopping, and then boom, it comes back and you got it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's my suggestion. Thank y'all for rocking with me. It's been real and I am out. Peace.